Let's talk once again about the Galaxy Z Fold 7. We just a couple of days ago finally got our first real look at this device via some renders by OnLeaks in collaboration with Android Headlines. I think that it actually looks like for the first time in a long time, a big step in the right direction for Samsung. That much wider cover display, a much thinner device at 4.5 millimeters. It's going to fit in your hand and fit in your pocket really quite nicely, I do believe. But one other big thing about this is the fact that we do now have some measurements on this device. So what I want to do in this video is I want to show you what this phone is going to be like next to some other devices. And let's start off with the Galaxy Z Fold 6. I think that that is a reasonable place to start. I'm using a little embed from a website called Compare Sizes. Don't worry, we're going to make this bigger here in just a second. We've got the Galaxy Z Fold 6 in green and the Z Fold 7 in red. You can see the measurements here in this section on screen. Keep in mind, they did not give the measurements for when this device is folded. If they do release those numbers, maybe I'll do a similar article and a similar video where I show that as well. I would actually love to be able to do that, but they did not give that number, so we can't. So like I said, Z Fold 6 in green, Z Fold 7 in red. And, you know, look, the first thing that you're going to notice is that the Z Fold 7 is, I think, rather significantly larger than the Z Fold 6 with these both sitting flat. You can see that it is both taller and wider than last year's model. Now, when we turn it sideways, you have to kind of acknowledge a couple of things simultaneously. So number one is that, yes, it is definitely thinner. We are going from 5.6 millimeters down to 4.5 millimeters. But you must also acknowledge the fact that we are talking about millimeters, 1.1 millimeter in difference. And that is... In the grand scheme of things, not a massive difference. You're not going to fully appreciate that looking at these images. You're going to have to wait until it's in your hands or next to other devices because lots of things will sort of affect your perception of thickness, like the shape of the edges, so forth and so on. But you can definitely tell from that, I think, that it is indeed thinner. But why would we stop just there? We can throw a whole bunch of devices into this and have a uh, better comparison. So that's exactly what I did. This time, for whatever reason, it reversed the color. So now the Z Fold 6 is red. The Z Fold 7 is green. But we also have the Pixel 9 Pro Fold in blue and the brand new Oppo Find N5 in yellow. We'll have to kind of move this around to get different angles to be able to see everything. But once again, as you can see, the Fold 7 is bigger in every way than the Fold 6, other than, of course, the thickness. You can see the blue of the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, though, sticking out beyond the uh, Galaxy Z Fold 7 on both sides. But it is also shorter than the Galaxy Z Fold 7. And that's actually something that I like about the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. You guys know that I was a big fan of the original Pixel Fold. It was literally wider than it was tall for this device. I like that it is a bit wider than some of the other phones out there, and it looks like it's going to still remain wider than the Galaxy Z Fold 7. So if you're like me and you like that wider device, better for split-screen multitasking, I think that's going to be something to keep in mind. I do also want to point out that I don't think that the aspect ratio of the Fold 7 is really radically changing because the additional space on the left side, right side, and the top looks to be very, very similar. Of course, it's worth pointing out that we're not looking at the displays. We're looking at the bodies of these devices and bezels are going to be something you're going to have to account for. I do expect the Fold 7 and the Fold 6 bezels to be very, very, very similar. So again, when I say that the aspect ratio doesn't appear to be changing a whole heck of a lot, I think we can make that statement based on the assumption that those bezels are probably not changing too dramatically. And then last but not least, we do have in yellow that Oppo Find N5, and it's actually very, very similar to the Galaxy Z Fold 7. But I think things get kind of interesting here, because if you look at this, you'll see that it's actually taller than the Galaxy Z Fold 7, and it's actually wider than the Galaxy Z Fold 7 as well. Now keep in mind, the Oppo Find N5 has an 8.12 inch inner display, and we were told by that article on Android headlines that the Z Fold 7 had something like an 8.2 inch display. 
if we go back to this again, I would ask you if that is reasonable to expect. It's not by much, but the Oppo Find N5 is the physically larger device, and those bezels are quite thin. So how is Samsung packing a larger screen onto that device? Well, the answer is maybe they're not. After looking at this, I went on Twitter and I went on to the Twitter account of Ross Young from Display Supply Chain Consultants and I looked through his replies. That's what I'll do. I'll go through his replies and see what questions he's been answering. And he had literally just answered a question from another Twitter user. They asked him, any concerns the Fold 7 will have battery life issues with those much larger screens? Ross said, no, because the Fold 6 SE had the same screen size. They said, are you disagreeing with Android Headlines report that the Fold 7 display is 8.2 inches? He said, we haven't heard that. We have it at 8 inches with a 6.49 inch cover display. And that makes a lot of sense. It lines up perfectly with these dimensions when you line them up and compare them. So ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be my prediction. You heard it here first. I think that Android headlines, I think OnLeaks actually got that wrong. I do not think that it is an 8.2 inch display. I think that that does not make any sense. I think it's going to be an 8 inch display. So put your mind somewhere closer to the overall screen size of the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, which is also, if I'm not mistaken, an 8 inch display. The aspect ratio is shifting around just a little bit, but it's going to be a very, very similar device. And when you consider the fact that the Pixel 9 Pro Fold does have a 6.3 inch cover display, and then you think about how big that bezel corner area is on these devices, you kind of get rid of that a little bit, and you basically have plenty of room for a 6.5 inch display. So I think that is what you should be expecting. You were hoping for the biggest screen on a foldable phone. I don't think that's actually going to be happening. I guess it's always possible that they got the screen size correct, but the dimensions wrong. Although I think that that's a whole lot less likely considering the fact that they were giving us fractions of millimeters. Whereas with the screen size, I think the phrasing they used was about 8.2 millimeters. And then you also have the fact that Ross Young is directly uh, contradicting what they said and saying, no, it's the same screen size as the special edition, 8 inches and 6.49 inches on the cover display. I think more than likely we're on the right track. We're, we're sniffing out the truth here in this video. Just, you know, put a little, put a little note, put a pin in that. 8.2 inches, probably not going to be happening. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you think I'm onto something, how do you feel about these size comparisons? Like I said, sound off in those comments down below. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.